Let's try something a little different for once. Welcome to Let's Play Viva Piñata, of all things. I don't know if this is a really thing that's gotten much attention on YouTube or not. I don't know if I should actually let the opening sequence run, because it, incidentally, it was also the opening sequence for a TV show that was made for Viva Piñata that didn't last very long. But YouTube tends to get angry about you having things put up that are also from shows, so let's actually skip this. Apologies for that. But in any case, here we are, Viva Piñata. It's a game. But it's a very open-ended game. It's kind of... Kind of sandboxy. Now, usually I don't... I have actually never played any game like this before that doesn't really have like a definite end goal. What I'll actually do is I'll say that my end goal is probably going to be to do something like... What games do I even have on this account? 50 achievements, so... Oh yeah, because I played Sonic 6 on this. So these are the things I've let's played on this particular account. But I'll probably try to get most of these. Oh, some of these are secret too. Ugh. I'll probably try to get basically all these with the exception of some small ones like Master Romancer. No. That's just grindy and is not interesting at all. But I, what I will do is I'll probably at the very least get every species of pinata try to breed every single one at least once just to see its animations basically just see all the stuff that is in the game and probably d get some of the other miscellaneous achievements that you get from using certain functions of pinatas which are actually all secret but some pinatas can do very specific special things that other pinatas can't and get achievements for those secret achievements but might as well just show that those pinatas can do those things anyways are we gonna learn about online safeguards today i don't think we are Let's start off. I haven't played this game in so many years, but it's also... That's just... You're gonna have lots of garden, gardens in this game. At least a few. Definitely a decent number. So let's... Start off with... Uh, what do we want it to be? Let's just call it number one. In fact... There we go. It only just now occurred to me that people are probably going to be a little weirded out by the fact that... Oh yeah, you can have, I think, different options per garden, which is kind of weird. Whatever. But yes, we will see... Or rather, <laughs> it just now occurred to me that... People are probably noticing that I'm using a very, very old dashboard. I never con connected this 360 to the internet. I never really wanted to. Viva Pinata. An ever-changing world full of endless possibilities because this is a world where you get to call the shots. The pinata creatures and plant life that inhabit this land are all determined by you. From the minute you dig your first hole and plant your first seeds, you're well on your way to attracting your first pinata visitor. If they like what they see, these pinatas may even move in. You'll also be able to name your new friend. As your pinata collection grows, you can choose which to collect and which to trade. Life on Pinata Island is never all daisies and apple trees. When illness or danger threatens, you'll need to be the one who comes to the rescue. This is your world to explore and ultimately transform into whatever you want. So feel free to change anything, everything, if only to see what happens. The world of Viva Piñata is a living, breathing place full of opportunities and unforgettable characters. That was basically like an advertisement. I actually forgot that this part existed entirely. I mean, it was only one time so, so, so many years ago that I actually saw the opening of this game. I didn't realize it had one. But yes, this is a game that I've played. I did essentially totally 100% this game. The only things I haven't done, I think, we're unlocking all the ca color variants for pinatas, which means just being a certain stuff that changes their color to something. It usually looks kind of ugly. And then, what was the other? Game Master Romancer for the Flutterscotches, which is basically just breeding the exact same thing. Hello. Like, I was hoping uh, how many someone times? would come and help me tidy up this mess. You must be the new owner. I'm Lefos, and I'm here to help you. At least like 50 times. So, I just decided not to do that. But I'd gone everything else. I had gone every achievement at least. Which means basically I'm presenting the game. Hi. 
I've given you the journal. When you've finished talking to me, press X to open the menu, and then I'll tell you what to try next. So while I usually make 50 minute episodes of things, I'll make the first episode at least half an hour or so, just for the sake of making things actually happen, because this game does start pretty slow, if I remember right? Welcome of course, to the I don't know how, how much I can remember, considering I didn't even realize this game had an opening a, sequence. Then you can move the left stick, and the leaf in the middle will point to the different things that you can do. Point the leaf at the journal, then select it with A. Also, I might point out, Leafos right now is the nice, helpful tutorial character. You'll find at some point in the game that she's actually kind of... I don't know if I call her malevolent? There's not like any like big story thing going on with her actually like, turn out to be evil or anything like that, but I mean that in the sense that she really, really likes to lie to you about things. Rather ironically for a tutorial character, if you speak to her unprompted while she's just walking around, she'll oftentimes tell you things that are patently untrue. It's just a bit strange. So many new things everywhere. Give me awards already. Aha! What what did my value come from? How do I have a ground value of twenty two? That's nice, cheap. But still. Eight whole minutes, really? That's been eight minutes. I've only been, re been recording for eight minutes. It took me like a whole minute to actually get the game set up. I disagree with your keeping of time. Maybe pinatas have different time than we do. Storybook, tell me the story. Have you seen the story yet? This is Pinata Island. It's the most incredible I think I'll do is while well, I'm tempted to just Pinata let the guy read it. Wild. I think I'll just scroll through it quickly Pinata so anyone who wants to read it can read it. It's the place where I'll just speed read it myself. Go, so they can be sent to parties all over the world. Around Pinata Central are lots of gardens. And the people Ooh, who yeah, first person narrator. Island have learned how to care for the land so the wild pinata will stay in their gardens and fill up with candy. So I'll just leave it at that. So apologies for those who actually wanted to hear it read. But I don't want to just leave it sitting there for like two straight minutes. For anyone that is under interested in it. Not that you can just skip it, of course. I'll probably leave the how to alone. Uh, I have a camera. I figured. I like how the back to garden option is being labeled as new right now in the top right corner. So this tells you what the breakup of your garden, which can be useful to know for the sake of getting certain pinatas to appear, to become residents, things like that. You're going to want to keep an eye on lots of different stats to attract or not attract to certain visitors. Each square is 1% of the total surface area, so to speak, but you might notice that these extra spaces, quote-unquote, are things you don't actually have the rights to, I guess, yeah, just yet. Yeah, so as you go out throughout, throughout the game, we'll get more, but right now, each of these is a little bit more than 1%. Instead, we actually have, how much we have? We have 25% of the maximum area right now, I believe, which is 3% grass. So 12% grass total right now, I guess. All this stuff is just cracked earth, hard soil, which is useless. Uh, and you can't even get it back. So meaning, if you want to have this stuff for aesthetic purposes, you need to be very careful with it, because it'll go away very quickly if you do also anything accidentally. Then you have stuff taking up space. I don't know, like, that rock can look kind of nice. I don't know what this thing is up here that's taking up space that I can't actually select. Most of the size just chunk, I think. I get the, this game gives you lots of flavor text for basically absolutely everything, which I kind of appreciate. Like, these are all the same thing. They could just give it a generic junk description. Also, some of these don't have descriptions at all. It's kind of weird. But they don't do that. Junk. See? Now we get an extra. Oh, wow. See all these separately. Look at all these descriptions. If you like reading about such things, you can. And some of the pinata descriptions are kind of funny. Whose family? Is this my family? She doesn't seem to know me very well. I can rotate her. She has lots of advice, so don't be afraid to ask her, except for the fact that she lies to you about whatever. This is probably going to be a pretty open-ended, pleasant, carefree, slow-going playthrough, though. It's also 
and I'll also probably end up being kind of long in total. This is the first game that I won't, I'll actually actively put out a disclaimer from the beginning. I won't necessarily do this all in one go, and by that I mean there's a possibility that at some point I'll take a break from this and play some other thing, just depending on whether it's convenient for me to keep playing this game or whatever. If you have more than one alert, you can choose which or if I feel like it's just been going on for too long, because I don't like having one playthrough dominate for too long stick. on my channel. Which is why I don't usually play longer bar, games like RPGs. Time for another present. It's something you can't manage without. I have a feeling I know what it is. That's a nice looking shovel. <laughs> Can I not, like, buy a better one myself? I mean, literally okay. speaking, yes, you can, I think. Grab but I mean that in the sense of, like, Clint I have, like, bought one on my way here. How do I get the deed to this land if I have Put no money? On me and press a for help. Okay. So, for now, we have some work to do. Buttons in the top right of the screen tell you what you can do with the shovel. I have three bits of advice. One... You can clear the hard soil more quickly I if you hold will probably event I mean, right now we're still in the tutorial phase where we're hearing text like this a lot. I'm not sure if I should just start skipping three, what Lipo says by hit pinatas, they can become ill. just cutting her off. If you'd like more advice, press y now. Sounds like some kind of automated phone call. So yes, so this is soil. I mean, it's pretty slow to break, generally speaking. You know, you can just do this. Also, uh, can you... Can you move the... There we go. Hey. Oh, come on. Darn worms. These things used to be the bane of my existence. So, this is a type of pinata you will not be able to avoid having. If you don't like him, then tough luck, essentially. Well done. You attracted a worm. The worm has turned up because you have uncovered some good soil. They will appear if you have anything that is not... Cracked earth, essentially. Yes, can I? Oh, yes, I can move quickly. Awesome. But you tend to miss things. What? I'm not trying to cut grass. There we go. You can move the cursor more quickly. If you click the left stick, which is useful. Of course, thankfully, we're not going to have to spend as much time. Whoa. Give me that money. There we go. We're not going to take as long this time to clear everything up as we might later on since we have a smaller area but at the same time there is at least one other way to clear up hard soil that you can start using later on our key machine Ooh. i wish i could leave this rock here you can buy nice scenic rocks and whatnot later on though if we're worried about that i will try to make things nice and creative in this game a high world but leave me alone for a moment one thing at a time I don't remember if you actually have to try to collect chocolate coins or not. That's what those money bits are, though. You get a worse for basically having anything happen that hasn't happened before. Take this grass seed packet as a reward for getting your first visiting worm pinata. It never runs out of seeds. Press A to close this alert, then press X for the menu. Choose your new grass seed packet from there. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, game. Usually tutorials go too slowly. This one's going a little quickly. Go ahead. So if I just leave that coin there, will I still get it? No. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, the wall... Actually, that, we probably should look at that world notification. Oh, darn, I missed the... Notification for... Oh, no, here we go. You have a new world visitor. Yeah, as long as there's a patch of soil or grass, they'll come to you. It can be a little annoying if you don't want them. Boom. I wasn't actually trying to hit that hard. Yeah, you can hold the A button. I think you hit things harder sometimes if you do that. Seems like I smack or break things quicker if I just do this, though. Yeah. I believe this guy should eventually... Oh, not here. Should eventually actually, yeah, become part of the garden. It'll just take some time. They're, they're, pinatas are kind of fickle about what they do. You see here that his one resident requirement, meaning it's a re requirement to actually become a resident of the garden just automatically, is already fulfilled. 
So if you just have one square of grass, essentially. I know! We can get on to other things. We have other stuff to do first. Be quiet, Lipos. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so one thing I kind of forgot. So you can go to the menu and then manually do whatever. You can also press buttons on the... Oh, well, not, not down. But you can press up on the D-pad. I think right on the D-pad as well to access things on the menu more quickly. But yes, there will be a faster way later on to clear up these spaces. It's not really an intentional way of actually clearing up hard soil, but it speeds things up a lot, thankfully, because otherwise it takes so, so much time to do this. This is actually a pretty impressive shovel, considering its shape and condition. Considering it's able to break rock and all that. Also, it's really annoying if you miss spots on here of cracked soil sometimes. This one seems to just literally not go away. Because if it's too small a spot, you won't actually be able to select the whack hard soil option anymore. So you won't be able to pick it, or you won't be able to break it. You won't be able to whack it. Come on. If you have spots that are too small, but they'll still be there. You won't be able to plant grass on which will be annoying. Alright, preparations are being made. I do have a variety of different ideas for certain gardens that will come up later on. And we'll probably still find another little patch of hard soil later on that I won't be able to get rid of. For now, I don't know if there will be a way to get rid of hard soil if I pass it up right now. So I'll go through one last pass. Maybe this world actually is like guaranteed to not become a resident until you've planted grass for some reason. It's just programmed that way. But I will try to actually put some effort into being particularly creative. Things like making theme gardens, things like that. Trying to actually make things look pretty. I'm not usually the one to do creative stuff on this channel, but I've just felt more creative than before lately. And I love this one right here. Great. See, this hole's gonna bother us. In fact, if I select the seed pack, I can't select from here. I need to go to the menu first. If I select this grass pack, I'm not gonna be able to put grass down right here. Seed packet is simple to use. I know. So if I put grass here, it's... Yep, there's just that one little patch there. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about... Yeah, so this worm will not become a resident until you actually plant grass, but that's... Wait. Yes, you only need soil or grass. And now someone else appears. I think because we have a world now. So you don't actually know how to make pinatas appear until you've done it, essentially. So you just want to do stuff and try stuff out until pinatas appear. Once they've actually appeared for the first time, though, it's possible for them to visit you. Very well. Although... Did you see the color ah, change? Calm down! The worm has become a resident! It likes your garden so much, it's going to stay here. Try naming your new resident. Just close this alert with A, put away any tool you have open, and place the cursor over your worm. Okay, one moment. Jeez. Oh, so we can see that? Yeah, oftentimes notifications will actually put the camera to something. Here's that guy. Uh, I don't know. We might want to look at the encyclopedia to see what the visit requirements are for it to actually come into the garden, as opposed to just being on the outskirts. Put away any tools. Be quiet! Put away any tools you Let me do some of this first. I think at some point you can actually... Okay, you can shrink the curse if you want. But I don't want that. You can also pull, pull up the grass, so you have pretty full control over whether you have grass or soil, thankfully. Yeah, you get used to this stuff. You start to speed it up a little bit as time goes on. This edge here is not quite how I'd like it to be. So unfortunately, there's never really any way to make gr grass faster. I'm a little bit bugged, actually. If anything, I would say that one of the things I'd suggest for this game would be faster ways to prepare a garden for the first time. This isn't the worst of it either. The worst that we'll have to put up with, and I'll probably have to like come up with a story to tell her or something when this is happening, is when you want to make a garden that's full of water, because that's going to have to happen. That's going to be a, an adventure that takes quite a lot, a lot of time. Because digging holes for water takes forever. Man, I'm really bugged by that one patch. 
It's two patches of dry earth. Darn it. See, I knew that would happen. It always happens. All right, then we're getting started. And if we want, we can just pull up grass later on. But for now, I think we should at least feel good about the place that we're in have it look nice. So I've been implying this, I guess, just at least I started implying this a moment ago. I have not actually played the subsequent Viva Piñata games at all. The only Viva Piñata game I've played aside from this one is... Now that you have the... I know. You can get the only one I've played on is Party Animals, which is basically just ba a party game based on the TV show. It's nothing like the other Viva Piñata games. Right. Like this one. Fun. But there were two other games. Was well, It's not portable. Pocket Paradise, which was a info. DS game, I think. Finally, a. I'll have to look. And Trouble in Paradise. Name, which helps you to find it in the garden and keep track of its piñata life. I won't name all the worms. Alright, my worms. I won't name everything in general. Also, you can see some nice stats. And we'll learn about tags later. How much it's worth, based off stuff, and some other random things. Huh, I wouldn't have thought this would happen. I managed to actually mess this whole thing up and forget how to name pinatas while not listening to. There you go, just based on basic info. Well, not listening to her. How about... Wilmington. But I won't name everything. You'll see why soon enough. I'll name some pinatas, not others. But, again, we'll get to that later as to why. But yeah, so I haven't even seen anything the slightest about... Triple in Paradise or Pocket Paradise. If I particularly enjoy playing this, I might get into those. This is another one of those cases where I'm playing something that I haven't played in years that I actually have pretty fond memories of. It's so nice to get to play things again. That's always something I've loved about Let's Plays. You've attracted a sparrow. And then, Sparrowmen if can hear a worm, it seems appropriate, I can actually move on to away. other entries in the series as well. Which would be quite nice. Oh my god, everyone's appearing. I forgot donuts entirely. What makes those guys appear? Sparrowmen just appear if you have two worms, I think. Because of grass, okay. Yeah, so things are looking a little weird right now, because we have the tutorial going. Certain things are getting delayed, it looks like. Like, that would have happened when I planted all the grass. It wasn't, it wasn't normally taken as long as it did. But the game stalled it, so just seeing things. Whatever. Oh yeah, you can also play the pure movies for different pinatas and things like that. So there's not really much missable content in this game, as a result. Leafos this has a lot of things. Teaching you stuff. Tutorial things essentially. I believe you go into I believe there's somewhere you can go. It might be on the left actually where it just gives you a log of things that Leafos has told you. I think it's labeled Leafos gossip or something like that, which is based on all the things she tells you that are patently wrong. You can go straight to Wellington from here. But will this tell us how We made these things appear, or anything like that. Appear requirements. This is how they appear in the first place. So basically, have a certain amount of grass. We don't have long grass yet. That's not a thing that can happen. We need long grass for them to actually visit us, and we need to have certain berries, which we don't have yet. And then for them to actually become mem become members of our community, let's say, you need to have eaten certain things, and then something unknown. I don't remember that being a thing that can happen. What do you mean unknown? Well, this actually leads us to the. Yeah, it actually leads us to the. Articles for those things. Some of the sounds of these pinyas can be kind of annoying when they're idling on these screens. But let me the syrup it up here though. Just grass. Visit, have grass. Resident, have grass, and eat a mouse mellow. So yeah, that's the thing. Certain pinatas get eaten. You're gonna have pinatas get eaten a lot. That's the thing you're gonna have to tactically let happen. Meaning we're gonna have some. We're gonna have to delineate which pinatas are here to stay and which are just food for the others. So I'm gonna name ones that I plan on actually keeping, but others that I'm just breeding or acquiring otherwise for the sake of. I'm not gonna read all of these. Although they might have interesting text for the shovel. So. 
uh, but others that are basically just produced for fodder. You can recharge that, could you? I don't know why I don't have money to charge for in the first place. I kind of like gonna afford food. What's, that? What's going on with my situation here? Maybe, uh, see, like, my, the thing that I was kind of wondering, well, let's go with, let's start with the small stuff first. The possibility I'm considering is that we are just, like, sent here as convicts. Maybe the Pinata Island is just, like, a convict island. This is just our labor of keeping this big garden and whatnot. We can get better things if we're good prisoners or something. Anyways. Now, you get a little bit of flavor for the Viva Piñata universe, Piñata Island and all that as you go along. I'm not going to read everything that appears in the encyclopedia, at least not as soon as it appears every time, because that would get really, really old. Another worm. Oh, does that experiment only appear? Because I had... Did I only need two for that experiment to appear? So I think now I just have to wait. A experiment... Sh I think the experiment should come here. Donut's not going to happen. Hi, though. Because I love how you can see pinatas walking around in the background here. That's the main reason I love looking at these things, actually. Hey, dude. We'll be seeing really plenty. You might have noticed... Yeah. There's a worm house that the game mentioned in the menu. You'll see what the point of that is pretty soon. Oh, well, it's going to tell us right now. I'm in an auto scroll. What are you doing, game? This guy also has no voice acting, apparently. At least not here. Oh, look at that. No cash. Ah! Okay, you're just gonna select this automatically. Also, man, this thing's huge. Why can't I put it there? Oh. Yeah. There we go, that's the way it's facing. In that case, let's have it over. Leafos, get out of the way! Go! Characters walking around your garden will get kind of annoying. Serpent, where are you? Rome sleeping. Why are you sleeping here? There you go. So I think this guy should be able to be. Oh no. Need mouse mouse before he can become a resident. Okay. Here's Willy. Woo. You watch him walk all the way down here. Yeah, I love looking at the camera that focuses on things happening outside your garden because it means you can see stuff outside your garden. It's a nice looking place. There's a certain trick. Super, super, super end game that you can do that actually lets you see the entire island at once. It's a glitch, in fact, but it's something you can do. Once this is done, I think what I'll do. Oh dear. Things are happening so quickly. Oh dear. Hi, though. You have. Oh, wait. That's interesting. That means experiment. Yeah, so experiments will also be another piano, like worms, that you will not be able to stop from becoming resonance. Once worms have happened, they're going to come here. They visit once worms are here, and then they'll become residents if you've romanced worms before. I don't know if it's in general or if it's happened in that particular part or uh, garden. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's a pretty lively environment, though. As time goes on, you'll get more and more of an idea. He's building this thing right now. Most things will take longer to build than this, if I remember right. Most of the wangos just wait for him to come back down here. Once this is done being built, I think that'll be it for the episode. It'll be a pretty nice start, though. Seal of approval. I finished. The house has been built. Get out of your shovel and smash the site open and reveal my handiwork. We can do that next episode, actually. So I think next time, next episode, let's play Viva Pinata. Hey, dude. We will probably get a experiment. Probably this particular experiment, in fact, will become a resident. Then eventually this guy will come along at some point. But for now, I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we reveal this thing. It'll be pretty, I assure you. Actually, I don't, know, I don't remember what it looks like at all, to be honest, but whatever. See you then, guys. Are you just going to sit here the whole time? I can tell him to go places. Oh, yeah, you can actually tell people to just get out of your way. forgot about that. It does get annoying people just standing here. and makes it, You can't tell Leo's where to go. Whatever. Anyways, bye, guys.